Hello lovely butterflies, welcome to this channel on Monday, week 164. I have my two journals ready because for the first layer I know exactly what it is I want to do and I'm going to do a two in one which means that I'm going to start working on two spreads at the same time and there was a reason for that. So first of all, I need to start working on my new A Layer A Day challenge, which will be in here. I need to do my journal on Monday, which will be in the big one. And what I actually want to do in the big one is a print of a stencil. So I want to use, I took out a couple of sprays, which I haven't used in <laughs> ages, so I hope they still spray. I have peeled paint, peacock feathers, rusty hinge, and a dilution one, which is a funky fuchsia. And yes, I'm going to start with some water. Let's do this. This will probably be, yeah, that's what I was thinking, the most bright color ever. Do some peacock feather and a tiny tiny bit of peeled paint. Now what I do want to do is to take this one off. I do need to clean this. Now I just want to flip this one and put it down because this is my first layer. There we go. That is what I wanted to start with. Now I quickly need to heat set this before all this ink moves around. And of course I still have some ink on here so I'm going to use it as well because there is no point in letting it go to waste. And let's see if I can pull this off. Something like this. Oops. Okay. Time to clean and to dry. I absolutely love what I have going on here. So I want to recreate some of that here. So I'm going to be very bold by going back in with this one, but it needs to be dry, obviously. I just want to use these and of course I need to protect the rest because I only want to have those circles sprayed in. To be bold, I'm going to stamp directly in black. And I'm not 
using a block. I'm just going in. Okay, I'm going to intrigue the eye by pushing some of the colors into the background, not everything, just here and there, using a small brayer and some white chalky finish, which is actually called Everlasting. to add a bit of white crackle paint Adding black splatters and I'm filming this part of this channel on Monday while I'm talking to my 15 plus patrons because we're having a hangout these are my February a layer a day stickers and this one just combines so well that I just need to use it and I can even put it in such a way that it seems that it's coming forth from these same colors. I even have turquoise that's here, purple that's here. So I'm going to use this one, but before I put that one down, I want to put down some thread, of course. And even the thread is not going to be enough. I feel like overdoing it with stamping and stuff, which might not be the brightest idea, but something like this, uh, but yeah, yeah, over stamping seems all of a sudden like a very good idea.
Okay, I'm not happy with the way this is sticking up. Like, it is seriously bothering me. And I will not be bothered by something that's in my journal. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I know that it's something that will be happening. Okay, I need this to stand out more. So I'm going to try something and if it doesn't work, well, so be it. I really had a great time getting this Journal of Monday done together with my patrons. If you're curious to see what it's like to become a patron, check out the link in the description of this video. Meanwhile, I'll see you back here next Thursday for a new Papillons fluttering. Don't forget to put down a layer a day. Butterfly kisses! Mm -hmm.